Well, hello, friends. Thank you for hanging out with me again to do some drawing together. You know, I was thinking uh, when all this quarantine stuff is done, I want to organize a party. Wouldn't that be fun? And I thought it'd be cool to have a theme for my party. So I thought, I want to organize a space party. Do you know how you organize a space party? You plan it. All right. How about we do some drawing, okay? Grab a pencil, grab a pen, grab a crayon, grab whatever you like, and we'll get going with this one. This is a fun one today. I think you're gonna figure this one out faster than some of the other ones. Are you ready to begin? We're going to draw a long horizontal line, just like this. Ooh, across we go. All right, that's step one. And I will follow it up with a nice curve. There we go. Look at that. Just like that. Should I stop right there and can everybody tell me what we're drawing? No, I will continue. But after a couple more lines, I think this one's just going to be a dead giveaway. All right, now we go up a little bit, just like that. Just a little tick up. And back across, but I stop right about there. That line is not as long as where we started the first line, is it? I'm going to connect these lines with the diagonal line like that. So far, so good. Here comes a little curve. Okay. Now, is it obvious what I'm doing? Should I check the chat here and see? Hmm, let's see if anybody's got a guess yet. Totally a spaceship. Hmm, Howard, that's a good guess. Good guess, good guess. <laughs> Let's see. Anyone else? Anyone else? Hmm. So far, we have a spaceship as a guess. Okay. Well, I just keep going. See what happens. I'm going to draw another line straight across, but this one's going to go a little longer. Watch. I'm going to stop there and then connect with a little diagonal line like that. Now do we know what it is? Now do we know what it is? Hmm. Chris says, Hi, Kyle. I'm ready to rock and roll. Awesome. I'm glad you're here. What brush are you using? Oh, that's an interesting question. This is nothing special at all. It's uh, like a regular round brush that I just added a little texture to and a little, um, a little jitter. I have to get too technical, folks. It's not a technical kind of show. All righty. If everyone's caught up, we are ready to continue. Next step. Watch carefully. Remember that first line we drew up at the top? I'm going to carry that out this way and then I'm going to curve it down at an angle like that. And that might have just given it away, just given the whole thing away. Ready? Carrying on. Here comes a big curve. Are you ready? Now, this is what I like to call a C curve. We do these a lot, right? Here it comes. Curve, and C, and a stop, just like that. Now, let's see what we have here. Bird, bird nose, a bow and arrow. Actually, yeah, it did kind of look like a bow and arrow there for a minute, a bus station, a biker, a sandwich. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus, I think you have hit the mark right there. All right, Jesus said, toucan. And folks, that's correct, because we are drawing a toucan today. And it's going to be so cute. All right, ready for the next step? Here we go. Draw a little diagonal line like this. Stop. Don't go all the way down to that C curve that we just drew. OK? All right. Now, this uh, horizontal line we drew here at the bottom of the beak, I'm going to keep that going, and I'm going to do a curve that connects with this line, just like this. Curve and connect. OK. All right. Now, I want you to imagine that this area right here at the top of the head, OK? I want you to imagine that's kind of like part of a circle. And if I were to continue that circle, it would come out kind of like that. 
Yeah, and then I'm just going to stop there. So there's part of that circle. And then watch this. I'm just going to go zigzag, 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 zig. All right. Doesn't matter how many zigs or how many zags you put in there. Just putting that out there. Don't you worry about that. Now, inside that bigger kind of part of a circle that we drew, we're going to stick another circle right here. And watch how big it is, okay? About that big. Pretty big, right? Now, slightly smaller circle inside that circle. Here it comes. Slow down if you need to. Ooh, I sure did. Okay. And finally, one more little one right there. And there you have your toucan eye. Okay. All right. Now it is time for us to address the wings and I'll show you how we do that. We're following the same line that we drew here, connecting that bottom of the beak to right where we're about to start the wing and watch, I'm going to do the same directional movement, but then I'm going to curve it out. So I'm going to move down and then curve it out like that. All right. Can everybody see that? And now here comes an interesting move. Are you ready? Up and back. All right. And now the same thing again, we go up and back. See that one went a little longer. And now this one goes up and back up to here like that. And there you have the wing of the toucan. Okay, am I going too fast? And look at the chat here. Oh, Koi, Koi had a great pun. Toucan, do it. <laughs> All right. Somehow, Howard says Kyle's going to rotate this toucan looking thing and it's going to be a spaceship. Uh, you're on to me. You're on to me. I do too much of that, don't I? Okay, carrying on, watch this. A little triangle here, triangle. Little triangle here, triangle. Okay, and then a line, and a line. Line and a line. Next, I'm going to do a tiny C curve, as if I took a C and I rotated it. So this is what I get, C curve, and right next to it, a little higher up, C curve, okay? And off of those C curves, I'm just going to do one line here, one line there. Those are those cute little toucan feet. Are the proportions of this toucan accurate? No. Does that matter? Not one bit. Depends on the kind of drawing you're doing. But for something like this, this is just pure fun, right? We can all understand what it is. You're playing with shapes. We're playing with a really fun representation of a toucan. Okay, here comes the tail. We come down from right here, down. And then we loop around like that. And then we come up like this. And then watch this down again and then up once more, down again, a little shorter this time, and then we go back up under the wing, just like that. And there's that nice toucan tail, all righty. And I'm gonna reposition that toucan here in the center so everybody can see him nice and clearly. Okay, so toucans. Toucans have a lot of color. But this is where it gets fun for you. If you have drawn this and um, you've drawn it with some pencil or a, a pen or a marker or whatever, and you have some crayons lying around or some other markers lying around or even some watercolor paints or something like this, you can have a lot of fun painting the beak, all kinds of rainbows of colors. And same with the body too. 
And before I do any of that, I just want to add a couple more details, but then I'll show you some ideas for that, okay? So the details I'm going to add are just a few lines for the chest feathers. And all I'm going to do is go like this. Line, 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 and a line. That's all you need. Just a tiny bit of texture, a tiny bit of detail. For these wings, all right, watch this. I'm just going to start on one of these lines that's heading back up here, right? And do another one like that. I'm going to do the same thing here, just like that. And I could even do another one, maybe overlap one here, overlap one there. Same basic line, some are smaller, right? And then for the tail, you could do the same thing. You could actually bring this line in a little more, bring this line in a little more. And then maybe you want to just do a little line like that, a little line like that. Nothing too fancy here. All right, now, if you want to do this, you can color some of the toucan with the color that you are using to draw with. Your pencil, you can just shade with a pencil. All right, I'm just going to do that. Watch right here if I want to, for example. I could color this whole area in. All right, a little coloring tip for you. It's good to do an outline of the area you want to color. And then you can go nuts on the inside and scribbly, 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 right? There you go. Could also do something like this. I could draw this area, color that in. All right, maybe color the eyeball. Like that. There's some choices you can make there. Maybe color in the legs here. And what about for the beak? Well, you could do a pattern for the beak, right? Lots of things you could do there. So let's say, for example, I do something like this. Maybe I decide, okay, maybe this section here will be one color. Uh, maybe I can do something like this and this whole section can be a color or I can further divide up that and make that a color, this a color, that a color, right? Or maybe I can even further divide it up like that. And that whole thing could be different colors. And I can come under here and maybe do some colors, right? Doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, make it a totally cool, funky beak for your toucan. And if you want to add some environment for your toucan, well, you can do that as well, right? What if I want to put some leaves in there? Let me show you a cool way to make a frond, a palm frond. Watch this. So we've got a nice little jungle leaf. I'll go ahead and use this green color. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw a line. It's curved. All right. Now, I'll warn you ahead of time, this does involve erasing. So if you're using something where you can't erase, watch what I do first, and then you can do it without the erasing. You can copy the shapes that I draw. All right, watch this. I come around here and out and then down. And then I'm doing the same thing here, okay? That's the basic leaf shape. Now, what I do next is I'm gonna draw long V shapes. I'm gonna cut into the leaf from the outside, watch. I'll just go like this. And then I space them out so they're not all the same. Maybe leave a big space there and do one here, one here, one there. Do the same thing on the other side. Just draw these Vs. Some are more narrow than others. All right, now, once I've done that, what I do is I erase the areas where the Vs are touching the outside edges of the leaf, like this. I'm gonna start here at the top right, okay? I erase this, and I erase this. See what I'm doing? Just erasing these little bits. And what you get is this nice, jungly looking leaf. And you can draw several of those if you want in the background 
or near your toucan. You can also do this. You can just draw a line and then you can just do lines like that, right? And that could be a leaf. You could connect them all like this. And that could be a leaf kind of from the side view, right? You can do things like this. You can draw a line and then you can just do leaves off the side like that. You can overlap your leaves or you can even do this. Just do sort of this kind of shape behind all of these. And that suddenly makes it look like the forest is more dense. Okay. Or the jungle. Yeah. Big leaf. Big leaf. The more you change the size and shape of these things, the more interesting it is. Okay. You're adding variety. All right. So how'd that go? How did your toucans turn out? Please do remember to use Twitter, take a picture and just at Kyle T Webster on Twitter, go ahead and send me your toucan drawings. I'd love to see them. I really get a kick out of seeing how everybody's art turns out. Okay. So there's our toucan. How are we all doing? Let's see. Kyle T Ross. So that's a very big compliment. Thank you. Bob Ross is one of my heroes growing up. I love watching his uh, his uh, show on PBS. Oh, Shauna, that's really sweet. You said the same thing. I really appreciate that. Also, Shauna, everybody, watch Shauna when she goes live. Very skilled uh, lettering artist, among, among other things, I will say. As well as a skilled Photoshop brush maker. Um, I remember one time she made a fantastic set of chalk brushes that were phenomenal. Alrighty, so here we go. We have a new section today that I want to get to, a little segment here that I think you'll enjoy. And this is called, Who? Are you ready? Let me zoom in here. All right, this is called, Who Made That? So I want you to take a close look at this and tell me, who made that? It's like a puzzle. Let's see here, let's see here. Hmm. All righty, I'm waiting to see if anybody can tell me who made that. This is going to be something we're going to do maybe once a week or every other week. I think it's going to be fun. We're going to be talking about famous artists and just introducing you to some of them, talking about them and the work that they've made. Francisco says, hmm, ah, Paco, some sort of French painter. Mm -hmm. Well, that's definitely on the right track. All right, let's see. Any other guesses? Munk, Edvard Munk. No, ah, Koi, Koi nailed it. Monet, Claude Monet is the correct answer. I'll zoom back out. And here we will reveal the full painting. Now, this is a very interesting painting because there are a couple things I want to tell you about this. First, the artist Claude Monet was a French impressionist painter. Uh, he was born in 1840 and died in 1926. He had a good long life, painted his whole life. He was an Impressionist, and the Impressionists were really interested in, in painting um, the effects of light, okay, on their subjects, the changing effects of light. And one of the things Claude Monet did with this painting was it was part of a series of 30 paintings that he made of this exact same cathedral different times of the year, different lighting conditions. So morning, noon, night, um, cloudy, really sunny. He collected all these paintings together as a series. He took the 20 that he liked the best and he had an ex exhibit with those paintings and he uh, only sold eight of them, which today, of course, he'd sell them all and they'd be worth millions of dollars. So French Impressionist Claude Monet, this is one of his paintings of the Rouen Cathedral in Normandy in France. So. That is the who made that for today. All right, so now we're going to bounce over to our animal uh, activity where you give me an animal and I'll just draw it as quickly as I can with that animal doing an activity. Um, we only have about five minutes, so I've got to really, really go for this one. And probably one of the early things I see is what I'm going to go for. So let's check out the chat and see what we got for today.
Paco said that Koi is on fire this stream. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's got the, the, the uh, <laughs> I just did another comment, Camembert. Very good. Oh, quickly, folks, I'm going to run out of time. I have to do my own. I have to do my own. I have to do some kind of animal drawing. Somebody said turtle skateboarding. I'm just going to have to do it. Here we go. Turtle skateboarding. All right, it's going to happen. This happened last week. I'm just taking a request from last week. Turtle skateboarding. Here we go. Here's that turtle. All right, legs coming forward. And there's that shell. Boom, 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 boom. And he's saying, all right, I'm great. I'm an amazing skateboarder. And he's going to have his, his baseball cap on backwards because that's very 1980s. So pardon me for that. And there's that skateboard. All righty. And right over the top of it, what do I do? I grab a darker color. And here we go. One, two. These are those lines I try and draw with confidence, right? I just try and make it work. And boy, holy cow, the pressure is on. I've only got a few minutes and I really want to show you a really cool art tip today. It's one of my favorites. It has to do with measuring. That might not sound very exciting, but wait until you see it, okay? Don't judge it by the title. All right, back of the shell. Da, 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 da. Good thing I watched a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. I'm sure that'll help me out here some in some way. Okay. And that other leg's going to come forward. And this leg's coming out this way. Can you believe how fast this is going? Oh my goodness sakes. I think this suggestion might have come from somebody I know last week. I can't remember. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. This might be the fastest one I've done. And it probably shows, but that's okay. There we go. Turtle skateboarding. <gasps> okay, I can breathe. That was incredibly fast. What do you think? Let me know if it is acceptable for all of you. There we go. Now look, I have a great art tip for you guys today and I wanna to show it to you right now. Are you ready? Here is the tip. Let's say I have to draw something like this, a still life, okay? I've got a couple of objects. And I say, how big are these objects? When you're looking at something like this, you know what you can do? You can do comparative measurement. Artists do this all the time. Let me show you what I mean. I have these different subjects. I'm like, well, which is bigger, which is smaller? How do I know? Here's what you can do. You can actually measure. Look at the total height of everything in the picture from the curtain on down to the bottom, okay? Then you can do this. You can say, okay, well, halfway down, okay, does anything fall about there? Yes, look at this. The vase is about halfway the height of the total illustration. What about this apple right here? Well, look, the apple is half the height of the vase. Amazing. And then look, one quarter of the way down from the top, we have the top of the wine bottle, right? So you can start to look at these things and compare the measurements before you even begin your drawing. And you know that your measurements are going to be spot on. And that is a really, really, really professional way to do your drawings. Everyone does it that way when they learn it academically, but maybe you didn't know about it. So I wanted to point it out to you and let you try that on your own. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me. I know I had to rush through the animal this time, but tomorrow I'll make sure and get to your requests. And, um, or sorry, on Wednesday, because tomorrow I've got something special. I'm gonna do a coloring sheet. You will see that. It's gonna be very different and very cool. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you had a great time and keep on drawing and I will see you tomorrow. Everybody take care and stay safe and healthy. See you next time.